grab all that. Watch your little hands, though, unfortunately. Oh, good. I love it. It's working. And like my father always told me, apply a little pressure, but don't kill yourself. The drill will work for you. Let me show you what's gonna happen. Come on. All right, so I am on a mission lately. I am getting things that had to be done finished. That's what I'm on. That's what all summer is about. We're trying to get all these little projects that I've been putting off dialed in. Now, one of them is the water hole here. This thing, I have to go all the way over to the front pond, to my house. I gotta take a hose, unfurl it, fill it up. It sucks. What we're gonna do is we're gonna automize, baby. That's what we're gonna do. A little poly tubing, a little trench digging. Oh, it's gonna be fun. But when we're done, we're gonna have a hose that's gonna snake its way up here and it's gonna fill this thing up. We're gonna clean it out and every single day, fresh water is gonna flow into this pond. So I'm really excited. These guys will be happy. It'll clean itself out and then I only have to really just take the pine needles out and stuff like that. It'll also create a mud wallow for our big girls and boys over here. So very good. Let me show you what's gonna happen, come on. Matt's here today, it's a lot of fun. And uh, we're gonna wander on over where I've got some of my materials ready. I went to the uh, local supply store and got some poly tubing. We're gonna just tap into an existing, it's fun, it's like yard work, landscaping info. Look, we got all kinds of fun stuff in the back of the truck. We've got our little connectors and we've got 200 feet of poly tube. Now this stuff isn't that expensive. And I I realized, I was like, man, I don't wanna have to dig up that whole um, front enclosure with the radiated tortoises. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here. We've already got tubing that runs back here. I'm just gonna go ahead and maybe rip out a little of that. No big deal. No big deal because I can literally just tap in right here, okay? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut it put a T on it and we're gonna snake this all the way around. And eventually all this, these things will grow back and obscure our poly tubing. So what do you say we get moving here? My little, my little box of tricks right here. And uh, yeah, it's fun. So this is the kind of stuff that I like to do because I don't know why I was putting it off so long. Perhaps because I had about 25 million other projects to do. Uh, so let's just rip this off, get this tubing out. This is fun. This is like, what I always consider this stuff is like adult tinker toys, you know what I mean? Fun way to keep on playing as you're a grown up. So gotta keep, keep the uh, party going. Let's see, this is a pain in the neck. I should have actually brought a knife because, let me see if I can cut this. Yeah, there we go. And uh, I think we have enough. I think 200 feet is gonna be enough to get us where we gotta go. About the most labor intensive thing is we're gonna have to dig a little trench underneath or through our good old, what's it called, driveway. But before we even do that, we're gonna go ahead and get our T. We're gonna find one end of this. There you go. And quite simply, poke it in there, right? Come on, Matt, this is fun stuff. I'm just hoping that that comes out so we can tap it into the line before we what have to talking? connect it. What are you talking? All I gotta do. Oh, is, wow. Yeah, it's very simple. They, they make it idiot proof, which means I can do it. Here we go. We're gonna cut right here. All right. Now you just take oh it. Oh my God, that couldn't be easier. Isn't that cool? Very simple. And then this pushes in, very simple. There we go. Now, let's move to our next phase of the project. Look how fast that just happened. Isn't that cool? I love it. So yeah, I wanna kinda of snake it behind this stuff. About, just like that. And this, these ferns grow back quick. Yeah, it just keeps snaking. No one's gonna notice that in a little while. Don't matter to me. Just kinda of pull it down in here. There we go. Keep going, bro. I'm gonna... Oh, you know what I did need? I do want to go bring me that good stuff. Watch this. I don't want to make such a sharp turn and bend this stuff because it'll kink it. So watch this fancy trick. I did this in my head while I was at Home Depot. I'm going to cut. 
we're gonna go ahead and grab another we're gonna grab another connector but it's a right angle I can't believe it's taking me so long to do this it's just sometimes you know it's almost like you wait until I'm here to do yeah it's so things. weird it's, it's so, so weird strange. I would never guess why well you know life is easier with Matt around all right now we just reconnect this and we keep moving I love it. And believe it or not, all these ferns are going to grow up on it. It kind of unravels itself there. And here we go. So we're just, again, I'll go, I'll obscure this a little bit better. But for now, just get the good. length right. Yes, exactly. You're going to go behind the cactus here? We, I'd like to go behind the cacti. Pretty easy to do. Right here. Grab all that. Watch your little hands though unfortunately oh, good keep going nice yeah pull a little top will you keep it rolling rolling i uh, hold on i'm gonna bring it down a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and just move that push that out there we go nice yep very good now i'm gonna go on the other side here because i'm gonna need all this i mean this is 100 foot look at how far we got Look at how far we're going. Thank you. Kind of. I love it. It's working. The plan is working. Okay. Now, here is where I figure... You got another 90? Oh, I got another 90. But I think we can actually make the turn nice and smooth straight line it right from the uh yeah right from there i think right we, we gotta dig this is gonna be the biggest we coral. may not even need to use the other coil oh uh, we may not 100 foot might get it here you guys thinking there's water in there already not yet there will be though there will be no food yet no not yet but we you. may we may actually i should have bought maybe the uh oh wait a minute we can we can return that other coil because this will match and we're going to tap con in some holders. So we're going to dig here, dig here. So uh, yeah, let's start digging. I had to just show you guys, this is him trying to check us out, trying to escape and watch us do a little bit of the building. What are you doing over there? What you doing? The water pipe will be in here soon enough. Okay, so trench is dug. That was a little bit longer than I thought. And then while we were doing that, we realized these guys started biting the tubing. So I'm gonna run it the way I anticipated and intended to do it, but I think we're gonna need to come up with an anti-tortoise nibble device. And I have a couple of ideas, but first I wanna get this thing set. So we've got these little cracks in between the rock, which is gonna make life easy. So I'm gonna, you can see here where they bit it. And eventually I think they would pierce it. So I do not want that to happen. That was about five seconds. Yeah, biting. exactly. So they, they just see something, they start nibbling on it. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it right like that. And we're gonna start adding another elbow so there's no real sharp curves, which we don't want. Look at how perfect that is. But there's something else I need to do. And uh, I almost forgot. We have this little nozzle. And this little nozzle is going to allow me to be able to control the flow. And since there's a few other trees branching off of the polytube, uh, there won't be enough pressure for this to be wide open. So what I want to do is kind of close it a little. And then I thought, oh, I'll just put it at the end. But then I thought, ah, the tortoises could kind of either knock it open or shut it all the way off. But what I thought of doing right here is we'll just make the valve right like right here so that I can just adjust it here and no one will ever touch it. So that'll be good. Uh, we're gonna go this end like this, bring that out to you, my friend. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in here. So we have this connection done. Oh gosh, I like to get them real good and tight. And now I'm gonna cut it so I can add that 
that little nozzle. It'll have to be a little further away from there. Well, you know what? I can actually do it on this that's side. That's what I was going to say. That yeah, way that's we smart. don't have to move it out. Correct. That's smarter. So now we'll just... These things are designed. You just push them in. It's very simple. So easy. I love it. You know, there's no drama with this stuff. And uh, we'll push that in. I mean, if I really wanted to, though, I can, in fact, get a hose clamp and tighten it on. Uh, and maybe I will do that just to be more thorough. Uh, okay, so we got about halfway. I'm just gonna push some of this detritus over it. Right, right behind the wood there. Yep. Right there. Yeah, very simple. That's it. I mean, that's 90 good degrees. Hidden. We got a 90. Now we're gonna right come there. 90 up. We're gonna go 90 up. I think these guys have realized that this is not that fun for them to eat, so. Who knows? They're not too bright sometimes, but for whatever reason, they're not. He decided he wanted enough. to nibble on my boot more than he did uh, the uh, irrigation. They'll thing, do that. Which is not the worst decision. Definitely not. Look at that. That sits in yeah. good. Oh my God. How did those roots get cut? Oh, that's right. I did that. Uh -huh. Yes, you did. Thank you, sir. Much obliged. Okay. So we'll just tuck them underneath some of these roots and pull the soil back. There you go. Pull the soil back, whoop de doo not a problem. Bada bing, bada boom. So how do you get them not to eat that? Well, we'll figure that out once we get it dialed. I wanna get it dialed and working. And then I, I do have an idea that might work. Okay, so I'm simply gonna, I got some clamps. We're gonna go ahead and just clamp it in a straight line. Okay, and what I'm thinking of doing is having some bamboo and leaning the bamboo up here, kind of leaning it over it. I think that would look better than just black poly tube. And uh, yeah, so we've got plenty of bamboo floating around. We're gonna do it. I'll show you how I'll we got a few pieces. Caruso some bamboo here. This will be a good way to ensure that it doesn't move. And I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut it so that it dribbles over the rock. I think that's a better effect. So here's our masonry bit. All right. So I'm thinking something like this, you know? So what I need to do is just, we got to turn it on hammer. It's hammer time, people. Those of you in the 90s know what I'm talking about. <laughs> we got to stop. Hammer time. Here we go. And like my father always told me, let the drill do the work. Apply a little pressure, but don't kill yourself. The drill will work for you. Ah, delightful. You want to blow that out? Next, I'll tell you what, why don't I just go ahead and have a look. Instead of changing out, all right, that one fits. Now let's go on over to here and we'll drill our next one at this point. We'll mark it. This way I don't have to keep changing the bits back and forth. I think that's good. I like blowing them out because any of the dust that stays in there makes it hard for the uh, Tapcon to actually fit through. So, okay, we got there, we got there. Oh, we're looking good. This is fun. I like it. <laughs> I like making my life easier. Okay, how many do we have? Bob the Builder over here. I am more of a um, demolition specialist. Okay. <laughs> this so is so one, true. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's get a fourth one on there. And what we'll do is I think that fourth one will be here and we can cut it and the water will dribble out. And that'll do that. And now we can change bits and make it work. Plus, I'm going to clean this whole thing out. Okay. Let's see how well I've done. Put that back in. Watch out for those bits as they are quite warm from all the friction. All right. Oh, yeah, I have the wrong bit. Damn it. I've got the wrong bit. Let me see if I got lucky. I doubt it. I might have to run back to the warehouse. Um, be right back. Through the power of editing, it looks like. I know what I'm doing. Good thing I had this bit close by in the <laughs> warehouse. All we gotta do now is hope we're gonna gently screw it in. And you don't overdo it. Well, maybe a little more than that. Oh, that hurts my shit. 
chin. Make sure it doesn't uh, pinch it. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, we don't want to pinch the poly tube. Here we go. Kid Z, kiddies. Things are looking dynamite. Let's try to make, yeah. What, what do you want uh, to say? I was going to say, oh, straight is the piece of bamboo, as long as the bamboo is big enough. <laughs> and I am glad, Matthew. Looking good, looking good. Oh, like, what a professional job. It's like we're at Animal Kingdom here, and, uh, you know, we're the Imagination Station, Imagineers. I thought you were going to say where they let the monkeys run it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'm your monkey's uncle. Looks good. I think so. I mean, that's on there. I know these guys are gonna be interested in it, but like I said, we'll try and get a piece of bamboo or something that I can affix to it, perhaps. I kind of want it. I think that's about as good as it needs to go, right? I'll tell you, I like it. I'll look at a lot. All right, what I wanna do now is I'd like to um, go get another tool and we're gonna blow this out. It's called a blower. And uh, we'll clean it out. Let me just see about uh, some of these. Make sure this drain is, oh yeah, that drain's a little full of gack. El Gacko, but I'll show you how I get rid of that. I'll be right back, friends. This thing blows. My vacuum suck. Let's go uh, turn it on and uh, see how we do with the flow. You stay here and let me know if water starts running out. Might take a little while. <laughs> There's a lot of hose to go through. I hear something. There we something. go. Do we Sweet. have flow? Yeah, it's Are great. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's awesome. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. This is so much easier. Oh, I love it. So yeah, it's it's set to run for about half hour, but um, I still want to, you know, I wonder if I could actually use this to kind of spray out some sludge. Yeah, I'll probably get a broom and clean this all off, or I could back this off actually. But I like that. I'm just cleaning some of this. Gack, see, gackaroo. Gets a little dirty in here. Yeah, it happens. It so but does. But the good news is, we're gonna have fresh, clean water filtering through it, so it'll just be like a pond, and I can then empty it and then drain it, and it'll refill. So it's gonna really knock down my um, maintenance responsibilities quite a bit. And it's much easier to keep this area over here wet. Yes, it is. Which she loves. She does. So looks great. Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna. We're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna clean, we'll let this fill up, and uh, we'll be right back. Well guys, here are the finishing touches. Pretty simple, but uh, a good idea, I think. Matt had the idea of just zip tying this bamboo to it instead of tap conning, it saved us some work. I'll probably get some darker colored, look see, he's gonna try and hit that. Let's see, it's a good test. Let's see if he gets bored with it, hopefully, and realizes this is not, food you want to eat. He's going to try it again over here. I think it's pretty much a no-go for him. But that's what we have to look out for with turtles and tortoises and all animals. They're going to nibble on things. They're going to oh, try things out. What did he do? He's trying to bite the whole thing. Yeah, he's not going to do it. He's going to lose interest, I can tell you that much. Although they do have some serious patience, but this is interesting. There's really not... Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no. I, I mean, gotta get could it be more tie. timely of a test? Well, I'm gonna, I think we need to, that wasn't properly zip tied. Yeah, well, one. this is just a test to see if yeah. it looked good and everything else. I think so. But my goodness, what a pain in the neck. Why are you such a pain in the neck there, Nazi? Let me see if I can kind of 
two bits. I mean, obviously we need more than one on there. Oh, we got, oh, well, that's not good. Crappy zip tie. Oh yeah, these are just- I, I, need, I, did, I couldn't find my big ones, so I just grabbed these. This is all I had at the moment. I'll have to go to the depot. Get that. But I think it looks good. Ooh. If they just ignore it, we Meanwhile, got? I just sliced right through my finger with the bamboo. Oh yeah, you can't mess with the bamboo, dude. Yeah. You gotta be careful, yeah, bro. That, that. that went deep. Oh wow, that's deeper than the Are you gonna be okay, buddy? Yeah. Could you be any more in the way? <laughs> yeah, he could. I gotta get another one on there. And I'm gonna trim these off. I'll probably turn these down. No, I don't know. Well, yeah, that works better if I go that way. That yeah, one it's just saying, I'm waiting for you to be done so I can bite these yeah, off. Again. So I can show you how feeble your attempts yep. are at securing this bamboo. Whatever a tortoise wants, a tortoise gets. Because, you know, the one thing they have is patience. But I think we've done it. It is what it is, friends. We've got clean water going into our tortoise bowl. Look how good this looks here. I think that's cool. Yep. Something. It's a little something that's better than just, you know, a black pipe running into it. So I'm happy. I think it's cool. Appreciate the help, bud. Mm. We'll see. We'll see how long it, we'll, we'll see, see how long it lasts. Through one night. <laughs> that's all it's got to do. If it gets through one night, we're okay. I think I do need another one up here though. Yeah. Well, it was just to kind of see what it was going to look like. Yeah, look, look at him. Look yeah. at him go. And then that's not even our biggest tortoise. Look at this. <laughs> oh, brother. That's why I was wondering They're if I should hungry. tap con it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if I were to just take the larger tap con, but I got to be careful yeah, now. This is a, a 60 second test to see. Let's see if this video, we could finish it. <laughs> and we did. I'm calling it a success, people. You'll have to stay tuned on the channel to find out just what happens with this. But uh, no big deal, man. A good day. We got it done. The tortoise has got clean water. We're filling it up right now. As it fills up, once I turn the, uh, the valve here, I got a ball valve here that's hidden. Okay, I'm gonna turn that ball valve. We're gonna turn it off and then the water will go no deeper. I was wondering how we're getting this. There we go. Because we only have this much water in the Right, it's gonna fill up the rest of the way, and whatever's left will overflow from here and flood this, and then she likes to make a mud wallow, good old Darwin over there. So she gets a mud wallow, but she will now climb in here, it'll clean it out. I'm happy, man, this is gonna be awesome. Every day, it's gonna come on a timer, and uh, we'll have that water flicking out. I think it looks good, it looks good. So I might have to make a few modifications, but that's what life is, man. Modify, adapt, survive. Evolve. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I'm gonna clean myself up ah, and uh, go get something to eat. Tough feeling lightheaded. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Simple solution. If you got better ideas, let me know in the comments. Talk to you later. Ah, mm. multi-purpose. Oh, it's so good. So good. All right, see you guys. Come over here, stop eating that bamboo.